Hi, friend. How are you feeling? You know why I wanted you to come to the barn, don't you? No, no. I promise it's not to show you the meat warp again. Although I'm never opposed to showing off my unique taste in such things. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I just... I noticed you were having a rough time recently. Oh, don't act like you had no idea that I'd find out. I know you're not trying to make it obvious, but... Well, you're just not the same anymore. I'm really worried about you. I'm always up to talk with you about it. You know that. Ah, oh, come on. You should know by now that, well, you're really important to me. Maybe you just thought that I didn't have the time to listen? I mean, you can think that, but you're wrong. I would drop everything just to make sure you were okay. Which is what I'm doing now. Uh, friend, I'm here for you. Please, just talk to me. <sighs> All right, you don't have to talk. But then you have to hear me out, okay? I can't imagine what you're going through. I can't see things the way you do and feel anything like you're feeling. Everyone's got problems, but that doesn't make yours less important than the rest. Just because I don't know about them doesn't mean I should just walk away from you. What kind of friend would I be? No matter what it is, I'm going to stick by my friends. And that especially means you. Say, why don't we go outside for a little bit to, uh, inhale some of that earth air? Ah, humans are always raving about oxygen. Am I right? I bet that'll help you out. Uh, come on. Here, uh, come sit in the grass with me. We can watch as the clouds pass by. Sometimes it's slow, but I like to pin the other clouds against each other and make them race. Stephen usually points at them and yells at random objects. Earth customs are really bizarre. Hey, did I almost see a smile on your face? I must say, I really do appreciate when you smile. It's like, when you're expressing happiness, it makes me feel the same. Amethyst and Stephen make me feel that way, too. Hmm. You're starting to look pretty comfortable. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't you close your eyes while I try and describe what I think the clouds look like? You know, it's that game I said Stephen would play. Only you'll have to guess what I see. <laughs> close your eyes, okay? Uh, don't peek. They better be shut tight. <laughs> Cheating is an automatic disqualification. Okay, are you ready? Good. And uh, Now let's see. This cloud right above us, drifting away at its own leisure, it looks like it has a pretty big head, oval-like, and it's got these two open spaces right in the middle. It looks like eyes? The body is slender, and it may or may not have a hat on top of its cranium. Better take a guess before it decides to float away. Yeah. <laughs> I'm merely joking. Clouds have no thinking capability. Therefore, they cannot decide anything. Yeah. Well? Time's up. The answer was an alien. No, silly. Not like me. I meant like the one I got from Funland. Up, 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 up. Keep your eyes closed. Another one's coming this way. Hmm. All right, this one has a pair of pointy ears and a tail and uh, four legs. Uh, well, it only appears to have two legs, but typically such creatures have four. The animal it looks like is just as soft, if not more, than the cloud itself. Ha <laughs> ha, did you give up yet? It's a cat. Of course, that was way too easy. Okay, um, oh, here comes another one. It, it has four sides, sharp, 
distinctive. Big. Very big. Uh, it, it represents authority and discipline. Uh, y yeah. A diamond. H how did you know? Uh, oh, oh no. Uh, don't worry. It just looks like a diamond. It, it's not... It's not one of them. One of the diamonds. I, I'm all right, really. What? Y yellow diamond? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I'm not worried at all. Don't worry about me. I'm sorry. No, really. I didn't want you to worry about me. We're supposed to be making you feel better. Uh, this is really hard to believe, uh, I know, but this is... This isn't about me. I want to make you feel happy. I want to make you feel well again. How can I do that when... <sighs> okay, fine. Yes, I'm terrified of Yellow Diamond coming to Earth and shattering me for my total and utter disobedience, my rebellion. But, to be honest, I'm more worried over her hurting you, or Steven, or anyone else on this rock. This resourceful rock, nonetheless. She doesn't have the right to destroy this planet, not when she could use it. <laughs> oh boy, I'm, I'm sorry. I just also can't help thinking about the other gems on Homeworld. They could use the Earth's resources, but at the same time... Oh, it, it's very conflicting. Do you understand? I don't want them to hurt the Earth, but... No, no more. We came out here for you, remember? Looks like I've ruined our cloud game, however. Uh, sorry about that, too. You must really think I'm a big clod. Hmm? Uh, 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 thanks. So, if you want to, when Lapis gets back, we could watch some Camp Pining Hearts. Yeah, just the three of us. You'd like that? Really? Uh, uh, of course you would. Who wouldn't want to be in my presence for this long and beyond, huh? Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm... I'm really happy to see you smiling again. Uh, anyway, um, okay, so I have to tell you that the last episode we were on ended with this massive cliffhanger. Oh, and don't even get me started about that maple syrup plot.